All right, I'm going to make a third video today. I haven't done that in a while, so uh, let's get to it. I think this is very important for people to understand when it comes to money. So many people with bank accounts, so many people with money in their wallet or wherever they keep it, tend to say the same thing over and over again. And uh, I'm victim to this as well. Well, it's my money. Well, this is where the scam and the lie all boils down to the fact that it's not your money, even if you're holding on to it. Now I'm talking about fiat notes, dollar bills, euros, wands, whatever fiat currency you have. Now I can't speak for other countries because I don't live there. I can only speak for the United States of America Corporation and how the Federal Reserve has tricked us into taking debt notes. You can have $5 in the bank. You can have $500 million in the bank. Well, guess what? It's not your money. This is the illusion that we need to reprogram ourselves to understand. If you look at a Federal Reserve note, and I suggest if you're watching this with somebody that doesn't know about this stuff and you want them to learn about it, bring them over and tell them to bring a dollar bill, five dollar bill, ten dollar bill, hundred dollar bill, thousand dollar bill, doesn't matter. You will notice one thing they have in common. Uh, that is, it says on those notes, Federal Reserve Note. You'll also notice one other thing that you'll have in common. Now, you'll only no notice this on a paper note. You won't notice this on a coin. Do you see the numbers, the serial numbers on a dollar bill? Well, it's just like a registering of a car, registering a business, registering a human being with a social security number. It's all about tracing and being able to locate where that dollar is, just like I have in gun registration. Those numbers are giving the Federal Reserve and the government the ability to ultimately be able to track where that dollar has been. Now, if you look at a quarter, a dime, a nickel, a penny, any change, you will not see any numbers on them. Now, why is that? Well, because our dollar bill debt notes are made by the Federal Reserve, which is a private-owned bank, not owned by the United States government, not part of the United States government. The coins that you have in your pocket are made by the United States Mint, part of the United States of America Corporation. So that is as close to real money as we have at this particular time. It's not real money because they took all the metals, all the gold and silver, out of our coins. And rumors are they're actually going to be changing them again to mostly zinc for quarters, dimes, nickels. Um, I don't know what they're doing with pennies. They've already started doing that, taking the copper out as well. So they're stealing all their wealth from our money. But you have to understand something. The illusion is that dollar, that 10000 that $1 million of dollar bill fiat currency that you have in your wallet – or in your bank account, or buried in your backyard, is not yours. Do you wonder how, like for example, the Bank of Cyprus, when um, Cyprus shut down the banks, and people couldn't get their money, and they were saying how unfair it is? Well, here's the illusion, and you could research this. And there are people out there that can confirm that what I am saying is very accurate. Is when you redeposit your money, and I'm talking fiat notes, into a bank, you are technically giving them their money back. And what they do to keep the scam and the Ponzi scheme and the lie alive is they register some credits to make it look like you have a credit for the amount that you've deposited back to them. Now, how did Cyprus get away with taking your money? Because it's not yours. They can take it at any moment, and that's what the Federal Reserve can do with their Federal Reserve notes. If they wanted to tomorrow shut off the system and say dollars no longer have value, well, guess what? It doesn't matter if you are a multi-billionaire who has nothing but multi, multiple billions of dollars. Well, guess what? They no longer have value. They only have value because the government is trying to steal as much gold and silver as possible that they can with this garbage paper debt that they say has value. Value based on what? 
Can anybody explain to me where the value of a piece of paper comes from other than what the government says? And if they're so valuable, then why are countries like China buying gold like there's no tomorrow? Why are countries like Germany wanting their gold back from the Federal Reserve? If it has no value, why would they want it so desperately? Because they want you to know without saying it that actual physical gold is real money. And if you know anything about coins before 1964, they had silver in them. So at that point, they were real money. But what happens is when you tell a lie long enough, it becomes the truth. So people have been trained to think that these pieces of paper, these debt notes, are money. They are property of the Federal Reserve, and they're being kind enough to allow you to use them so you can create debt, which you have to work off to repay. So if you want to invest and say you have millions of dollars, well, you better hope they never shut down the system. Because once they do, you now have millions of pieces of toilet paper. And when you deposit your money into a bank, you are giving their money back. And the only reason they don't just steal it outright is because they know they have to keep the scam alive as long as they can until it ultimately fails. Which means they give you a little credit. So if you deposit $1,000 into the bank, which you had to work for to accumulate, they put a credit for $1,000. And once that scam is over, once that Ponzi scheme is exposed, once enough people lose all confidence in the fiat currencies, guess what? All around the world, there will be a financial collapse. Because if you research history, there has been no time in recorded history where every single country has had a fiat system all at the same time. And the countries that did here and there had a 100% failure rate when they went to a fiat system. And in case you're not familiar with it, a fiat system is when you take away the gold and silver, and it's not backed by anything other than a government promise. They have had a 100% failure rate. So this is the first time in recorded history where since 1971, every single country on the planet has decided to take themselves off the gold standard and go into a debt system. This is why we are getting poorer. This is why prices are rising. People don't want to seem to get this. So if you want to keep putting your money in the bank, if you want to brag about how many millions of fiat dollars you have, you better hope they don't lose that end game. Because once they, the Federal Reserve decides that the game is over and they have enough gold so they can start their new currency, you will have millions of dollars of crap. Hate this, like it. Doesn't matter to me. I'm not here to become popular. I'm here to tell how it is. If you don't want to research it and look these things up, that is up to you. I will not be posting links and doing the work for everybody. Your job is to find out for yourself. I'm here to try and help people by pushing them in the right direction. What you do is up to you. Peace.